Hey guys, Dark Recycle on FPV here, and I am actually working on a, um, a setup right now, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like here. So give me one second, see if I can get this uh, to, to work here. Whoop, there we go. All right, so I'm working on a setup here. Uh, I'm actually gonna do a quick video on how to use the GT, how to install the GTX 585. Uh, uh, video uh, VTX video transmitter from HGLRC had a customer ask me just bought one and the manual or the online manual is kind of difficult to read so he said hey can you show me how to do it and I said great so I grabbed a um, F3 V4 Pro uh, uh, flight controller it has a VTX actually on it holy cow it's early uh, it has a VTX on it um, but uh, I'm gonna disable that VTX and I already have I flipped the switch down here and I'm just gonna wire this now I will show you that the green wire that you see right here this wire is running to the TX, uh, which is UART2 underneath this board. I did that ahead of time because I don't wanna to have to take the board off and flip it over. But the point being is, is when you see this get attached to the pad over here, that's your smart audio cable. So I'm just letting you know, I've already wired mine to an open UART TX. Find one on your board and you'll be just fine. So let's look at the board itself real quick. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to put this under uh, magnification here. So give this, me a second and let's see if I can do this right, okay. Whoops. All right. Let's see if I can get this on the board. Okay. This is such a pain. <sighs> All right. So what I need to do is I'm going to try to rotate this camera around, I think. Let's see if I can turn it a little bit so that things don't look upside down, right? Whoops. That's blurry. Sorry. 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 Forgive me for making this blurry. I will fix it here. All right. Now, let's see if I can get this to stop shaking. And if I can, then we might be in good shape here to do some work. All right, so here it is. Here's the GTX 585, and here's the, here's the pads on the bottom. Now, I've already tinned them. I've already um, used the uh, uh, flux pen to get them ready, and the pads are set. But what you need to know, and what's important here, is to look at the pads themselves. So this is your uh, video in pad. So on, in this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, running the camera directly to here. But if you have onboard OSD or something like that on your flight controller, then you would run your camera to your flight controller and then your VTX from your flight controller. There's a VTX pad, it would go straight to here, okay? But I'm just gonna go camera to here. Uh, below it is the RX, which is gonna be my smart audio out, or receiving, I mean, and it's gonna be coming from the TX on the board. So I already have, like I said, that green wire, so we're gonna solder that there. And then looking up here, this is the lowercase g, which is the ground for the camera itself, and the uppercase g is the ground for the um, VTX. And then going to the right, the uh, top pin is for the uh, five volt to the camera, and the bottom pin is your seven to 26 volt for the VTX itself. So let's just go ahead and wire it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take, I'm gonna try to do this with the um, magnifying thing here, or the, the, uh, the uh, oh my gosh, yeah, I guess that's it, microscope. I'm gonna see if I can do it with the microscope and not screw this up, okay? Uh, so that you guys can see it without uh, me getting this. Oh, shit, no, I shouldn't have done that, hold on. Let's put that right there. All right, let's see if I can do this now. So here we go. We're gonna put the, um, coming from the TX, the UR2 uh, TX, I'm going to, I'm trying to maneuver this. There's not much room here with this uh, microscope here, but this is gonna go right here. And that's my smart audio. So make sure that you put that on uh, your, um, whatever you are, you have uh, that has uh, your TX on it. All right, this is my uh, this is my voltage, and you can see well. You'll see in a second, but this is my uh, from the board. Uh, basically, my battery straight out because I'm going to be you know if I'm running like a 4S or something, it doesn't. I'm not even going to come close to the max. Let me just get this on here real quick. This is my ground from the board, so I'm going to put that right here. All right, let me see if I can get this. I'm, again, I've got this really strange reach here trying to get around all this equipment. All right, so now here's my video cable, and I'm going to go ahead and put my video cable on the V. Right there, I'm gonna put my ground to my camera right here in the center on the lowercase g pad right here. Let me grab that, there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my camera positive and I'm gonna put that here on the five volt right here, all right? Oh, it's not easy to do this with the thing. All right, but anyways, these are soldered enough for me to be able to give power to it. So that's how it should look, although that looks very sloppy but that's just because we're doing this video and I'm trying to get this done. Look at that, how that is all feathered right there with those, oh, that's terrible. Uh, in either case, all right, that's fine. Whatever it takes, let me just do this so that I can show you guys how it works, okay? So let's go over here. Let's move this out of the way. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply power to it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in these, uh, I'm going to just put these alligator clips on here for power. It's 5, 19 in the morning and something is moving on my property and making my alarm go off. Isn't that great? All right, let's give it power. Let's give it a second to light up. And then we're going to turn our little watch monitor on right here. Let me hold the power down a little bit longer, I guess. All right, there we go. And look at that. So we have video now, okay? I know that video is hard for you guys to see, but there is video. I'll try to tilt it up a little bit. There you go. You can see it. I'll move my hand in front of the camera. So that's how you're going to wire this up. It's pretty simple to the point. Um, and uh, you should have no problems at all getting this thing wired up. It's, it's really a no-brainer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power off now. And as I take everything off, we'll just look at it one more time under the microscope and make sure that you understand uh, what we're looking at. And then we're done, guys. It was that simple. All right, so let me bring the microscope back. Let's switch back to the computer view. There we go. Let me set this up. All right, so going back and looking at this again uh, and clearly ignoring the, um, look at that, that's, this, you don't ever want this, okay? Look at that, that's terrible. Anyways, uh, so uh, from the top row, you're gonna have your video out, which uh, this is gonna be your uh, going to your camera. Uh, you're gonna have your ground out to your camera and your positive out to your camera. On the bottom row, you're gonna have your um, RX, or smart audio receiving, going to the TX on your board. Uh, here, you're gonna have your ground from your board, and then here, you're gonna have uh, your um, VBAT, basically. You've got a range right here. It says it's seven to 26 volts for the bottom pad. So you could be running, you know, I mean, you can go straight to VBAT on this one. You should have no problems at all, okay? So hopefully that helps, guys. Uh, I uh, hope this makes it easy. It's a very simple install. It should be no problem at all. Um, please also remember to subscribe to us at um, uh, on our YouTube channel at Cyclone FPV uh, and try to follow us, like us, or do whatever you do on Facebook that you're supposed to do. Uh, with Cyclone FPV as well. And then please uh, remember, if you have any questions, send me an email at tark at cyclonefpv.com. It is now 521. I have not slept yet. I am tired. Uh, I am hallucinating. Luckily, I didn't burn myself when I did this one. Uh, and uh, I think that's pretty much about it, guys. Remember, fly safe, God bless, and spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you're going to have left. So enjoy every minute that you can with your family and your kids and everybody, okay? I'll talk to you all soon, and uh, take care. Bye.